The Waterfowl Dance is arguably one of, if not the most well-known boss attack in any video game in the world. And for good reason, of course. As I'm pretty sure all of us at some point got tired of hearing And I can almost be sure that most of those deaths are caused by one thing and one thing only. The waterfowl dance itself. If you go towards Reddit or any other social media community platform, you'll often see people just saying, get good, or whatever. But that's not really the point of this video. At times, I wonder. How did From Software actually intended us to deal with it? Because from my over 1000 plus collective hours of playing Elden Ring, I can only come up with 5 or 6 methods that I find pretty consistent. And number 1 is to throw Freeze Pot when she is doing the Waterfowl Dance startup. You want to dodge or jump with a pretty much frame perfect directional input. You can block it with a shield or with a heavy weapon. You can Bloodhound step away, or at some cases, running away from it altogether, given that you got enough distance away from her to do so. But you see, I think all of these methods have issues behind them in terms of a realistic approach on what I think a game expects from its player base. Because for the first reason, Freeze pots are what you call a consumable item, and a pretty niche one of that. I mean, who would have thought about it on the go? When you fight Melania, who even thought about using freeze pots? The, like, the connection just isn't there. Dodging it is extremely difficult, and even me, myself, and real professional out there can most cases make mistakes, due to how tight the sequence is. In spite of being possible, this is an extremely high skill cap jump from any other boss in the game. It's like nothing even comes remotely close. You can also try to block it with a shield, and although this would be pretty consistent and possible, it would only result in her healing herself back up by a whole chunk. You can use Bloodhound Fang or whatever to dodge it, and it seems to be the most consistent way. However, there is a catch. From Software has never once forced the player base to use an extremely specific niche to progress with the game. And this is what got me excited. This is what got me wondering. What goes through Miyazaki's mind when he designed this attack? Does he envision the solution? How does he plan for us to deal with it? Does he plan for some other way that we have not known yet? Did he and all of us had the same idea? And here's something my buddy, Mahlil, told me about. The intended way that he believed was to run away. As most of the dangerous parts of the waterfowl dance, Corte is only on the first two. And I think that there is some truth to that. It is also quite realistic. It's something that From Software had done before as some attacks are meant to be avoided completely. Like for example, Godfrey's Ground Explosion, or the Elden Beast's Magic Rings. But here's what I believe. I believe that all of the known solutions that we come up with as a player base is simply proof of our way of beating the odds. We hate being put down, so we rebel and we figure out clever ways to stand back up. And I think that's something that made the Elden Ring player base very special. But that's what I believe. More importantly, what do you guys think is the one and true 
from software intended way. Let me know what you guys think on the comment section down below. And that's it from me. And I'll see you guys again on the next one.